hype about methylfolate? Isn't it just folic acid? It's a question many have and not everyone is explaining in an easy to understand way. Watch all the way through the video and we'll step you through the simple but important explanation of the difference between the two. You'll learn about the chemical differences, how they work uh, in the body, as well as the effects that they have on your overall health. You might be surprised to learn that folic acid might not be so healthy for you. I've been studying methylfolate for a long time now, uh, before most people even knew what it was. I learned about it through a doctor in Eastern Washington, and I was not only convinced by his science, but also by my personal journey with the nutrient. I've had overwhelmingly positive responses from customers as well. Many have sent testimonials about how helpful this specific form of folate has been for their mood levels and pregnancy needs. And this folate's radically changed my life, which is why I work to talk about it and I'm obsessed with trying to make sure that the folate that I take every day is the best quality, the purest on the planet. So, how's it really different from regular folate or folic acid? Believe it or not, all folates are not the same. There's dietary folate that you get from the foods you eat. There's synthetic folic acid, which is what you get from vitamins and fortified foods. And then there are various converted forms of folate, like 5-formal tetrahydrofolate or folinic acid. There's 5-10-methylene tetrahydrofolate. But none of these are the active version of folate that, when connected to a folate receptor, can unlock some significant chain reactions within the body. Things like reducing homocysteine levels, uh, boosting SAMe, which therefore promotes serotonin in the body, promoting glutathione, the body's greatest antioxidant, which allows the body to detoxify the big bad guys, things like heavy metals, BPAs, phthalates, environmental toxins, it also protects pregnancy and lessens the likelihood of birth defects, as well as helping repair myelin sheath damage, supporting nerve health. The unique and special folate that can do these powerful activating functions within the body is L5-methylene tetrahydrofolate, or methylfolate for short. Theoretically, in a body that's working perfectly, one would eat folate, say a nice spinach salad, and the dietary folate would start its conversion process into the body and become 10 formal tetrahydrofolate. Then it would become 5 formal tetrahydrofolate or folinic acid, and then 10 5 methylene tetrahydrofolate. And finally, the active form that's going to kick off uh, many of these necessary downstream enzymatic processes that we just talked about, which help us maintain our health more optimally. This is methylfolate. So, in a perfect world, all one would need is folic acid and a body that converts folic acid properly. The challenge is that we have many reasons why our bodies can't achieve that optimal folate form and the amount of that form which is needed to keep us healthy. Over half the population has a genetic mutation that doesn't do this final conversion very well, from 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate to methylfolate. Some have single mutations, some have double, and some rare folks actually have a triple mutation on this gene SNP called MTHFR. If you're one of those people like I am, then you can't convert folic acid into methylfolate, giving you enough serotonin to feel optimally good throughout the days, weeks, months. It's hard to keep your stomach tying itself in knots. You may have cardiovascular challenges that are lingering because your folate isn't converted into the form your receptors need to make that magic happen. But it's more than just the mutation. Some drugs can gum up your folate pathways from working properly as well. Alcohol is a very common one that reduces folate in the body. Methotrexate is another one that shuts down the methylation pathway. Medications like metformin and warfarin and a few others make it hard for the average individual eating right to get the folate they need in their diet. Smoking can also reduce the amount of active folate getting to your body's vital health systems. So you can see that it's pretty easy for even the average individual to likely be struggling with folate metabolism. If you think you might be one of these folks struggling with folate metabolism, and there's a laundry list of symptoms that folks whose methylation pathways are blocked up deal with, like toxic burden, uh, these are things like metals, BPAs, chemicals, etc. Uh, depression, 
OCD, bipolar, schizophrenia, IBS, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, miscarriage, cardiovascular episodes, ADD, autism, hypothyroid, headaches, migraines, anemia, immune problems, and many more. The great news is that you can take methylated folate or methylfolate directly and give your body some much needed help by not requiring it to convert folic acid into that activated form especially if it already has a fair amount of trouble doing so because of any of the reasons that I just mentioned. Please note that synthetic folic acid is actually harmful if you have the MTHFR gene where your body does not convert folic acid into methylfolate well for the main reason that your body makes a wonky enzyme, technical term, wonky enzyme. It's floating around in the bloodstream and it basically will block up the folate receptor and then they're not allowed to do their job and promote the enzymatic changes uh, that are needed to provide optimal health. So when there's excess synthetic folic acid or these wonkily converted folate uh, bits in the bloodstream, it's been suggested that cancer can actually become an issue. So if you know you have MTHFR, make it easy on yourself. Cut out all the synthetic folic acid whatsoever in your diet. Then consider taking a quality methylfolate supplement like the one we make. A quick plug about our methylfolate, it's the most pure version on the planet, as tested by a former 35-year chemist from Merck, who's in Switzerland now. It's internationally patented and also most identical to today's pharmaceutical version, which means it's built on a crystalline calcium salt molecule for maximum stability and therefore potency. Be careful not to get a racemic version of methylfolate that's cheap. Uh, because there's plenty of cheap methylfolate out there. However, they will be tainted with half of the nutrient, including its inactive form, which is the 6R isomer, and it won't be pure or high quality. The cheap methylfolates are often much less potent and effective as well. So if you're going to go with a methylfolate, go with a company who's been living, breathing, and personally taking it themselves for the last nine years, not just a company trying to make a quick buck by giving you what you think is a good deal on your cheap methylfolate. Don't risk quality when it comes to your health and what you're gonna put into your body. If you liked our video, if you thought this video was valuable, please give us a like or a comment, share it with a friend. Uh, this helps us get the word out to more people who could find this information helpful for their own health journey. When you watch until the end and you engage with us, YouTube considers this information valuable and surfaces it more readily for the people that come behind you. Until our next video, I'm Jamie Hope at Methyl Life, wishing you the best of health.